Okay, in this video, we're going to be um, we're going to be uh, dealing with a system of linear equations, which means eventually, not in this lesson, but a future lesson, we're going to graph two linear equations, and we're going to find out if they have a, a certain location in common or nothing in common at all or everything in common. So I presented you with two equations, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you that I would like to try the ordered pair of three common nine in each of these. If that ordered pair works in both of them, then we have a solution to this system. If one works and the other doesn't, then we do not have a solution to this system. So let's begin by subbing in a 3 for x and a 9 for y in each of these problems and see if we have a solution for both of them or a solution for one, which means no solution for the pair. All right, let's sub in. We're going to go 5 times 3 minus 2 times 9 equal a negative 3. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that out. 5 times 3 is 15. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 equal negative 3. Well, we don't subtract, so keep that, change and uh, add the opposite or change it to the opposite. A 15 plus a negative 18 is a negative 3. So 3 comma 9 does work in this one, but let's find if it works out over here. Okay, y is 9. 9 is equal to 3x plus 0. Well, let's see. That's 9 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 0, and 9 is equal to 9. So 3 comma 9 worked in both of these. So when I look at these equations, I know that when I graph them, they're going to have something in common, and it's going to be 3 comma 9. So this is a solution to these two linear equations. This is a solution. All right? Now let's try another one. Okay, this time I'd like to do 2x minus y equal 8, and x plus 3y equal 4. And I would like to use a 3 comma negative 2 to test in to see if we will find a solution for this, uh, these two linear equations. Okay, here we go. We're going to sub in x, 2 times 3. There's a minus sign before you put the y. That's a negative 2 equal 8. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and a, that's a keep, uh, add the opposite. So that's 6 plus 2 does equal 8. So it works on this one, but let's see if, if it is a solution for both of them. So far that worked out pretty well, but let's look at this one. x is 3 plus 3 times a negative 2, which equals 4. That is 3 plus 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. And 3 plus a negative 6 does not equal 4. So the ordered pair 3 comma negative 2 is not a solution for these, uh, these uh, two linear equations. Okay, which means doesn't look like they're going to have anything in common when we graph it. But we'll find out about that. All right, let's look at another one. Okay, I would like to do uh, a, uh, x plus y is 8. x plus y is 8. And 3x plus 2y equal 21. I yet like to use a 2 comma 4 on that. You ready? Okay, here we go. Let me get back on this side since I'm a lefty. Okay, x is 2, y is 4. x is 2 plus y is 4. Well, 2 plus 4 does not equal 8. Okay, let's try it over here. 3 times 2 plus 2 times 4 equal 21. 
Well, that looks like a 6 plus 8. Well, that doesn't work at all, does it? They don't have anything in common. So that is that 2 comma 4 is not a solution, not for these two equations. Okay? Okay, let's try another one. Let's try 2x plus y. 2x plus y is equal to 0, 05 and x plus 3y is equal to 5. And this time I'd like to use a 5 comma 0. And we'll see if maybe this will work for both of them. Okay, let's sub in the first one. 2 times 5, 2 times 5 plus 0 is 5. Well, let's see. 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus 0, no, 10 plus 0 does, no, that does not equal 5. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's try this one right here. Let me erase this so you don't have to look at it. All right, here we go. X is 5, 5 plus 3 times 0 is equal to 5. Well, 5 plus 0 is equal to 5, but only one of them worked. So I don't think this is going to be a solution for these two linear equations, okay? We'll be ready to graph in the very near future.